one of the criticisms that some fellow Democrats have been voicing in the press uh, recently is that the President has surrounded himself with a corps of loyal aides who have been with him for many years, and uh, increasingly these Democrats are publicly saying that these aides have left the President ill-served. Are you aware of a response from the President to those criticisms? Uh, in terms of what? Well, uh, there was a, the Democratic senator quoted today in the newspaper that said that, the, that sometimes the boxcars are empty. Uh, you know, you know that Senator Manchin has publicly voiced. I was, I didn't really even understand that quote, just to be honest. But um, here's what I would say, and I think I know what you're getting at, Steve. So let me try to answer your question. Um, I am new to President uh, Biden's orbit. Um, I've only been working for him since I uh, joined the administration during the transition, and then joined uh, in this role here that I'm still in today. Uh, what I have found is that uh, I see him on a daily basis, sometimes multiple times a day. Uh, he asks me consistently what I think, and by the people who have been surrounding him for some time, whether that's Ron Klain or Steve Reschetti or others, they've certainly encouraged and supported that relationship and engagement. What I've seen the president do, and I know this isn't what everybody has visibility into, so I guess that's why I'm sharing this level of detail, is if you're in a meeting with him and you're having a conversation, if you don't know the answer, he wants more information, he picks up the phone and he calls the person he thinks does. Sometimes that's Ron Klain, sometimes that's Susan Rice, sometimes it's Brian Deese, sometimes it's Louisa Terrell. That's how the president operates, and that effort to uh, really empower team, team members and have that direct relationship with the president is something that, uh, that's been my experience to date. Go ahead.